morning everybody and welcome to Heidi's home. It is early in the morning so I um, apologize ahead of time for kind of the darkness of the video but I think we have enough light to make it a go. Um, it is early. I have had this on my list to do because I've had a lot of very ripe bananas and my parents are going to be coming in sometime at the end of the month. And I thought, you know what? We're not going to eat this banana bread right now. But I will go ahead and bake it. And then I will slip it in the freezer. And then I will thaw it whenever they come in to town. So you're looking at my kitchen aid. And I thought I would just add this for you guys. I get tons and tons of questions on how... I do things being visually impaired or how my husband does things being blind and I thought that I would just share this with you guys when I was in high school I used this paper all the time in school and it was very very helpful I also found that my handwriting was a lot neater than you're going to see today because I just jotted really quickly but if I need my handwriting to be on its best it is easier for me to write when I can actually see the lines and see what I am writing. So I just want to show you guys this. This is called low vision paper. Can you guys see this? You can order it on walmart.com. I'll put a link for it down below in the description box in case you guys are interested. And I just use a fine point Sharpie pen. Um, and I've got many colors, so, you know, I can mix and match, but yes, low vision paper is how I do things. Um, you will find this humongous paper laying all over my house with notes on it. Every time I think of a video idea or anything like that, it goes down on this paper. I love this paper and it honestly has saved my life. So if you are visually impaired or maybe you are, an older individual that has a hard time seeing, this will be extremely helpful to you. I find it helpful um, and I love it. So I would not have known about low vision paper had I not going to, had gone to a blind school. So for those of you that are curious, I'm just sharing with you and hopefully you guys will find that helpful. So today I'm going to be sharing my banana bread recipe. I have done this before, but I thought that I would do a new one today because this is what I'm doing today. This is my go-to banana bread recipe. Like if I'm in a pinch and I've got some ripe uh, bananas, odds are I've got everything else on hand. It's very, very simple. You can add nuts or you can leave the nuts out. So if you add nuts to this, which I'm not going to do today, um, I would add about a half a cup of chopped walnuts to this recipe. You can also use pecans if you would like, but honestly, it is delicious without. So I'm just going to share this bread recipe with you guys today. Hope you guys are doing good. We are. Um, it has gotten a little bit less humid here and a little less hot. So I'm a happy camper with a little bit little bit better of weather outside. First thing I do is I start out with my bananas. And this is three very ripe bananas. And I just cut them up and we're gonna let the mixer, you know, get them down a little bit further. To that, I need to get some measuring cups out behind here, here we go three ripe bananas and then to that you're going to add in one cup of sugar and i'm just gonna get my cup of sugar measured here we go and i'm just gonna add that in and that is what i'm going to beat together first so i'm just using my regular beater attachment and we're going to let that mix together very slowly now that is pretty mixed together, I'm going to go ahead and add in my two eggs. Okay. 
Now that that is combined, I'm gonna add in one stick of melted butter. And yours does not have to be as melted as mine. I think I put it in the microwave just for a little too long, but it's just fine. I'm gonna get it all in there. And then we're gonna mix it. In this bowl, I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients together. So on my paper, it is two cups of self-rising flour with one teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna get my two cups of self-rising flour. And my teaspoon of baking soda. And then I can mix this with a whisk just to make sure that baking soda is combined in there really well. And then I'm going to pour this in to my mixer. If I can move it up here. You wanna add your dry ingredients on top of your wet because otherwise it's gonna go poof and go everywhere in your kitchen and you will have a absolute mess. Now, depending on how big your loaf pans are, you can make as many as two loaves with this one mixture. I'm gonna see what loaf pans I actually have on hand. I know I have one big Pampered Chef stone, so I might just bake this as one, and when it comes out, I'll bake another one because I have three more bananas. You're gonna bake this in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. And sometimes the banana bread has a tendency to look like it is done on the outside, but it's not actually done on the inside. So stick a knife in it or a toothpick and make sure that it is done all the way through. If you feel like your banana bread is getting too done on the outside, but is not done on the inside, you can cover it lightly with foil and that will ensure that the outside will not get too crusty or get too brown. Um, and so your banana bread will have a nice color and a nice consistency on the outside as well as a nice moist cake-like bread on the inside. So I'm going to find my bread pan and we will get this into the oven. So I sprayed my stoneware and this is a pampered chef i'm looking for my spatula here it is i always take my spatula scrape the sides down of the bowl real good make sure i've got everything all combined and then i pour it into my loaf pan this is a wonderful wonderful bread to bake at fall time and we are just approaching fall and i am in the fall mood <laughs> um, i'm even thinking about decorating for fall i talked to my mother last night about planting mums i've never planted this is the first year i ever planted flowers on my own and they did really well but here lately they are looking pretty sorry out front and i think it's because we have had the most horrific weather even though i have watered my flowers they just have n are not surviving so i'm probably going to have to get rid of them and come up with something new for fall so let me know what you guys do 
uh, for fall, what recipes you make, and do you do you plant mums? Do you buy pots of mums? What do you do? Because I'm interested to know because I'm all new at all this. I'm going to slip this into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes, and then I'm going to come back in here and make another one and put it in the oven. Now, my 40, 40 minute timer just went off, and I'm going to turn the light on. Let's see what this looks like. All right, I'm going to get it out and check it. It is not done. I just checked it. It is still uh you know where you can feel it in the top and tell that it's not done all the way through in the middle so i'm gonna set the timer for another five to ten minutes there is my first loaf it is perfect it comes out perfect every time i never have a problem baking this recipe i've been making it for a really long time i just put a piece of wax paper over my old baking sheet and i'm just gonna let it cool and i'm gonna get the second one in There's my banana bread out of the oven. I'm gonna pop this one out. I'm gonna put it with the other one. I'm gonna let them cool. I'm gonna wrap them in some wax paper, stick them down inside of a freezer bag, and these will be ready for my company in a couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Heidi's Home. If you are new to, new to my channel, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button and because there's gonna be a lot of new videos coming your way. And I just want to say I hope you all have a blessed week when you watch this. And I'll be seeing you all again soon. Bye-bye, guys.